Hello, it's just doing some colouring. Do you like it? This is my baby Brontosaurus. I love colouring dinosaurs because nobody knows what colour they were, so you can colour them in any colour you like. That's great, isn't it? I've done a whole selection of them. I got them off a sheet. If you've got a sheet like it, maybe you could have a go at colouring them in too. Or just cut them out. This one I haven't coloured in yet, but it's still good. I'm going to use them to tell a story. And it's a story about the Brontosaurus. I'd better put it in his stand, hadn't I? Brontosauruses had long tails and long necks. Not like this one. So what happened? How did he get his long tail and his long neck? I'm going to tell you. Let's put these out of the way for now. Once upon a time, there was a baby Brontosaurus out on the plains, eating some ferns and enjoying himself. And he spotted a little tiny insect crawling about. He watched it. He watched it crawl between two large boulders. Oh, where's he off to? thought the baby Brontosaurus. So he stuck his head between the two boulders. The insect just carried on. So he stuck his head further and further so he could see. And then the insect went round the corner and disappeared. But the baby Brontosaurus, he was stuck between the two boulders. He tried to pull his head out, but, but, but it was stuck. He couldn't get it out. Mummy, mummy, he said, my head stuck between two boulders. What shall I do? Don't panic, dear, said Mummy Brontosaurus. We'll have to get some help from one of our friends. So she called for the pterodactyl. Can you call for the pterodactyl? Pterodactyl! Pterodactyl! And he came flying in, because he was a flying dinosaur. Here he is. Done him in purple. He said, now what's the matter with you? Mummy Brontosaurus said, Baby Brontosaurus has got his head stuck between two boulders. I thought if we grabbed his legs, we could pull and pull and pull, and we'll pull him out. Oh, yeah, that sounds fair enough, said the pterodactyl. So he grabbed the back legs, Mummy grabbed the front legs, and they started to pull. Now I need some help from you with this. Are you ready? They pulled, and they pulled, and they pulled, and eventually, oh, back they went. But when they looked, oh no, all that happened was his little stubby legs had grown into big tree trunk shaped legs. Can you see them on, on, the, on the Brontosaurus? But his head, he was still stuck between the rocks. Oh no, said Mummy Brontosaurus. We're going to have to call for our friend T-Rex to help us instead, and as well. So they did. The pterodactyl and the baby Brontosaurus and Mummy Brontosaurus all shouted. Are you ready? Can you call for the Tyrannosaurus Rex? Tyrannosaurus Rex! Tyrannosaurus Rex! And they heard a big stomping sound. Stomp, 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 stomp. And here he comes, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. There he is. Little front legs, but huge back legs and those horrible teeth. Can you see them? Good for tearing meat off animals. And the T-Rex said, what's the problem? And Mummy Brontosaurus said, we're trying to pull baby Brontosaurus out from behind these rocks, but he's stuck. He said, oh. No worries. I'll grab his tail, you grab his legs again, and we'll pull, and we'll pull, and we'll pull baby Brontosaurus out. So they started to do it. They grabbed his legs. Can you grab some legs as well? And they started to pull. Are you ready? They pulled. <coughs> and they pulled. <coughs> and they pulled. <coughs> oh! And back they went. But the baby Brontosaurus hadn't been pulled out from between the rocks. All that had happened was his little stubby tail, like this, had grown into a really long tail. But he was still stuck. Oh no. What are we going to do, said Baby Brontosaurus? We'll have to call some more of our friends, said Mummy Brontosaurus. So they did. They called the Stegosaurus. There's the Stegosaurus. He's got plates on the back of his back help us to know he's a stegosaurus. And we could call the Triceratops as well. You've already seen him once, haven't you? There he is. The triceratops with three horns. And between us, we'll pull him out. So they all grabbed something. They grabbed a leg, or a tail, or a bit of his back, and they pulled. Are you ready? Grab some legs. And they pulled. And they pulled. And they pulled. And they pulled. And... They pulled. and out popped the baby Brontosaurus. He was free! But he had completely changed. Now, 
he had great big long legs. Can you see them? And he had a great big long tail and he had a great big long neck. He'd been stretched right out by all the different animals. Now, from that day on, Baby Brontosaurus realised he could do things he never was able to do before. He could reach the leaves that were right at the top of the trees, the best and juiciest leaves. He was thrilled. And Brontosaurus has never went hungry again. But I'll tell you something else. They learnt an important lesson. And they never stuck their noses where they didn't belong again either. And that's how the baby Brontosaurus got his neck and his tail. So, now over to you. Get colouring, or maybe drawing, or perhaps get out your toy dinosaurs if you've got any, and see if you can retell that story. I'd love to hear all about it when I see you next. Bye for now.